just another omen right of what's to come another microcosm of what's going to befall America in these last days uh, this is from abcnews.com and it says Biden falls at US Air Force Academy graduation ceremony now before I get started I just want to give all praises glory and honor do unto Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rakaha Kodash and the belongings to the apostles and elders of great millstone that rule well and that do teach well that have taught me this truth to USA Shalom and Shalom to the hopeful elect all right let's play the clip man once again you have um, President Joe Biden the leader of the United States he's fallen once again and uh, you know they they mentioned his age the president 80 walked away unassisted once he returned to his feet so they're, they're making it known that he's old but it has nothing to do with him being old man it's just uh, how America is um, the ruler of the country and the ruler of the people just shows how the people are and that, that's the state of America man um, you guys are feeble you guys are about to fall and um, it's not looking too good for you all right so here we go oh ouch not good Gotta play it off, gotta look cool. I got sandbag. Alright, so yeah, you know, him, him falling. Now, I got some uh, precepts going into how America is going to fall. But before I do that, man, I want to bring out Proverbs chapter 16, verse 18. Um, here it is. It says, uh, Proverbs 16, verse 18 Pride goeth before destruction, and a haughty spirit before fall. Beautiful. And um, before this place falls, man, you're going to see a lot of pride. And speaking of pride, man, we're in the month of June. And that's called Pride Month. That's for the alphabet community when they indulge in their sodomite acts, and their sodomite ways. Um, and you know, brothers, we're about to see a lot of wickedness manifest right before our eyes out in the open. Um, uh, it's crazy. They're about to indulge in pedophilia obviously sodomy um, and just witchcraft and, and madness man but uh, that's that's rightfully so because it's prophesied that um, they're gonna act this way in these last days but them doing that them being proud them being haughty just shows that they're going to fall and and that's the spirit that's on America and pretty much the whole world especially but primarily America um, everybody is indulging um, it, you know, and, and everybody's indulging in their pride, you know, in, in their youth and in, in that haughty spirit. But uh, pride goes before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. That's as plain as I can make it. Now, what is that haughty spirit, man? Haughty just simply means, um, it really just means arrogance. Um, you being high minded. And you can't talk to an arrogant person, man. You go out here and you, you tell these people that. They're doing the wrong thing. They'll flip it on you and they'll make you look like the criminal. <clears throat> Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil. <laughs> right? That's what I'm thinking about. But uh, you, you tell them that they're going off for being a sodomite. They're going off for doing in the butt. They're going off for being a pedophile. Hell, they'll, they'll flip the switch on you and get you arrested. You arrested and they'll charge you for a hate crime. You know, these people are arrogant. They'll come out, they'll come out and say things like, well... Sodomy has been has been uh, done uh, ha has been done for thousands of years. Men men and women have always been uh, doing sodomite acts. It's just now that it's out in the open. Before it was in closed doors. You know you should get used to it. They'll say things like that. You know that's how arrogant these people are. But they forget to re they forget that you know the Lord He destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah, and they were doing the exact same thing that you were doing. You know, he he wiped Sodom and Gomorrah off the face of the earth. He destroyed it with fire. And the same thing is going to happen to America, man. So you know what? Keep being proud. Keep being arrogant. 
you know, you're going to fall be for, uh, for those things. You're going to fall. Keep being proud. Keep being arrogant. You know, can't tell these people nothing, man. It's ridiculous. So this is uh, Revelation 18, verse 1. Babylon has fallen, and after these things I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power. And the earth was lightened with his glory. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon, the greatest fallen, is fallen. Yeah, it is fallen. And fallen how? Uh, through uh, thermal nuclear destruction. I believe that's uh, uh, 1 Peter 3 and 10. Going into the elements shall melt with fervor and heat. Malachi chapter 4 and 1. The day of the Lord shall burn as an oven. There's many precepts, man. Many scriptures, many books that you can go into that talk about nuclear destruction. And has become the habitation of devils and the hold of every foul spirit and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. And that's what's going to happen in America, man. It's going to become a desert place. A desert place. There's going to be no beauty in America anymore. And you're going to have desert-like creatures dwelling over here. Rattlesnakes, kimono dragons, vultures, scorpions, things that dwell in the desert. You know, and this place is a very beautiful place, America, that low valley. When you go into Ezekiel, the 37th chapter, it talks about the valley, valley of dry bones. Um, this valley, it, it, was, it is beautiful. And, you know, all the sweet, all the seasons, man, dwell over here, all the four seasons that we go through. It, it happens over here and, and it's very unique and diverse you know you got certain places in America that are that are desert like Arizona Phoenix certain parts of Texas um, and then you have uh, mountainous areas that are very snowy I believe like Utah and then you have very tropical place, places like Florida man this place is very diverse and it's very beautiful but when destruction comes it's going to lose that beauty making so much noise out there man. I hope, I hope you guys uh, are not disturbed by that but anyways um, verse 3 it says for all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her and the merchants of the earth are watch, wax rich through the abundance of her delicacies that's right and the wine of the wrath of her fornication is going into the different philosophies man that um, these other nations have taken on because of America. They have taken on women's rights, women's lib, um, uh, sodomy, they have taken that on, capitalism, democracy. That's why you have a McDonald's in uh, pretty much every country, <laughs> right? Uh, they've taken on that uh, opulent lifestyle, that fast living. And then also, that wine goes into witchcraft as well. Witchcraft. And that's why this place is called the, the Mistress of Witchcraft, I believe. That's in the book of, uh, I believe, Nahum. Yeah, so it says, uh, And the merchants of the earth are waxed through, wax rich through the abundance of her delicacies, man. That's why all these other nations, especially these rich businessmen that own uh, corporations, they come over here and they do business with America, and rightfully so, because... America consumes 70 to 80 percent of the world's resources. So why not capitalize off of these people's ignorance? Why not capitalize off of their opulent uh, op opulent lifestyle? You know, their, their opulent way of thinking. Because that's what you Americans like to do, right? People in the Western world, you like everything big, you like everything fast. You want everything now. So you know what? Why not capitalize off of your ignorance? Why not capitalize off of your stupidity? So a lot of these nations, man, these rich businessmen, they come over here and they make millions upon billions of dollars off of your off of your stupidity. And you know, in order for them to do uh, business, right, they have to have a certain amount of Americans on their board so they can do business. Anyway, I thought, I, I thought I'd mention that. Anyway, let's move on. So this is uh, Jeremiah 50, verse 23. How is the hammer of the whole earth cut asunder and broken? How has Babylon become a desolation among the nations? How? That's right, how? You know, you, they are in charge at one point. How did they become so low? How did they become destroyed? Right? How? 
You know, you're the hammer of the whole earth. You call shots. And a hammer, it's used to break and destroy things. You destroy these other nations, man. With with uh, nu with uh, with your military, nuclear capabilities, man. Bombs you dropped on uh, Hiroshima and Nagasaki, Japan, right? You know that shook up the whole world. That made the whole world afraid of you. Hell, you sit on you sit on the beast. You can, you're pretty much in charge of the beast system. NATO and the EU. You tell people how to live. And you tell nations that they gotta die too. You know, so so how? How has Babylon become a desolation among the nations? You know why? Because the Lord did it. And it shows you the Lord's word prevails over everybody and everything. That desolation is going into destruction, thermal nuclear destruction, man. Now it says, uh, verse 24, I have laid a snare for thee, and thou art also taken, O Babylon, and thou was not aware. Thou art found and also caught, because thou hast striven against the Lord. That's right, your arms are too short to box with Yahweh Bashim Shai. And the Lord, he set up traps and snares for you to be taken down. You know, one snare I can think of, man, is not just the missiles, but capitalism, man. Here it is, you know, you, you, you Edomites, man, during, during uh, the birth of America, you, you believed in democracy, you fought for your rights, and now capitalism is destroying democracy, <laughs> right? You know, just look at, just look at uh, the whole Bud Light situation with the Dylan Mulvaney, man. Just look at it. All the, all the people that consume that beer, they don't want that guy as the face of Bud Light. They don't want him. That's the, that's the consumers, the people that buy the product. But the CEOs, they don't want to change it, even though they're losing billions of dollars. Right? Even though they're losing billions of dollars. <laughs> it's because of the damn shareholders, man. That's capitalism, man. The shareholders want this guy on the product, so they have to do what the shareholders say. Ain't that some shit? So they're still losing money. So... Democracy is right out the window. It doesn't matter about the majority vote. <laughs> it's so fucked up. But uh, it is what it is. Hell, man. You know, they, they, make, they make things in this, uh, in, in this country to not really last anymore. Look at these fucking cars, right? You know, you buy a car brand new. Five, two to five years later, the AC it, it, it turns to shit, right? Obviously, because of wear and tear. You know you can fix it, but they make it so difficult for you to fix it. You have to jump through so many hoops. You have to go through dealerships. You have to go through these different mechanics to see what the problem is. You got to pay a, di a diagnostic fee. And that's all just to make you buy a new car instead of actually fixing the car. That's to deter you from actually fixing the car and its problem. And then they lie to you and say that there's that it's um that the car is broken when it's really not broken. That's all just to get you to buy a new car, man, and to spend more money. That's fucking capitalism, man. And what does that do? That that causes you to waste things. You know, and when you waste things, man, it destroys the earth. So that's another snare, man. He gave you capitalism, and capitalism is the is the demise of democracy, man. It's going to destroy democracy, and it is. You're seeing it. <laughs> you're seeing it, man. You're seeing it, man. And your vote, man. It, it's it's not a vote. It's a suggestion. You don't call the shots. All right. So that's one snare, and there's many other snares that the Lord has set up for this place to go down, man. Now, verse 25, it says, Yahweh hath opened his armory and hath brought forth the weapons of his ignorant nation. And you know, what's in his armory? Armory is full of weapons of war, man. The Lord has the angels, the celestials. He has the chariots. He has 144,000. He has the nuclear missiles. And he has spiritual power, <laughs> right? So, um, you know, the Lord has a lot of weapons at his disposal, or at his disposal, right? Um, it says, for this is the work of the Lord, power of armies in the land of the Chaldeans. Uh, hold on, let me, let me just, hold on, I got to do something real quick.
Yeah, Salaki. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, the Lord, he has a, a lot of weapon at his disposal, you know. Um, yeah, so going back here, the Lord has opened up his armory and has brought forth the weapons of his indignation. Yep, yeah, indignation is righteous anger. For this is the work of the Lord, the power of armies in the land of the Chaldeans. That's right. So hey, the Lord is going to bring judgment upon Babylon the Great, America. So this is Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 8. Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her? Take balm for her pain. If so be, she may be healed. That balm is going into those austerity measures. Those austerity measures are, are documents and legislations that are created to preserve the economy. Right, so um, like what you're seeing with the whole SVB situation that happened earlier this year, bailing out the banks, so um, so the country doesn't get bankrupt. Um, you have what else? There's a lot of other things. Um, printing money out of thin air, which causes uh, inflation and hyperinflation. They're doing those things because. They're trying to preserve their economy, but that's just bomb. It's it's just like it's like putting a, a band aid on a gunshot wound. It doesn't really it doesn't really heal. It doesn't really heal anything. It just really treats the symptoms of what you're going through, um, because this place is so far gone, guys. It's trillions and trillions of dollars in debt. Um, you can't pay that back. So just doing little things to stall the collapse. And by the way, there is going to be a financial collapse real soon. Verse 9, we would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Yeah, that's right. So these austerity measures, these different uh, legislations you put in place to uh, heal the economy, it's not going to work. Forsake her and let us go everyone into his own country for her judgment reaches unto heaven and is lifted up even to the skies. Yeah, that's why all these people that came over here and uh, who, who made businesses because a lot of you uh, foreigners that come over here, you become entrepreneurs. You open up little businesses. You realize that America's going down. So you know what? I'm going to take the money that I made and I'm just going to go back to my country and live good. Because you're seeing how this place is uh, falling apart. In every single way. You know, through morals. You know, through the economy. So you're just like, you know, I'm going to leave this place, man. This place is about to go down. <laughs> Judgment's about to come to this place. So let me leave. Let me jump ship. The Lord hath brought forth our righteousness. Come and let us declare in Zion the work of Yahweh Bashim Hashem, our power. So this is uh, Revelation chapter 14, verse 6. And I saw another angel fly in the midst of heaven, having the everlasting gospel to preach unto them that dwell on the earth, and to every nation and kindred and tongue and people, saying with a loud voice, Fear the Most High, and give, and give glory to Him, for the hour of His judgment is come. And worship him that made heaven and earth and the sea and the fountains of water. That's right. You better, you, you know, you gotta, you gotta pay homage. Give credit where credit is due, which is to Yahweh Bashim Shai. And credit shouldn't be given to the so-called white man and the other nations. It shouldn't, because the Lord is your maker, and the Lord and your maker is coming back to set things right, to put you people in your place. That's why I always say, man, when I start my videos, sometimes, you know, I say, kiss the sun lest he be angry. You know, you want to kiss the sun, which is Yahweh Bashim Yashai, so you're in his good graces when he returns, man. A lot of you people aren't doing that. And because of that, you're going to be destroyed. Verse 8, and there followed another angel saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen, that great city because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. Yeah, and she made all these other nations go off and sin and partake in these different wicked philosophies, man. Mainly witchcraft and sorcery and all that. 
You know, you, you force these other nations to partake in sodomy by putting sanctions on them, right? By killing their leaders. Yeah, man, you did all of that. And, and the Lord is going to make you pay for that. All right, so, yeah, man, that Babylon has fallen, is fallen, that great city, that great city being America. You're going to fall by thermal nuclear destruction. Now, let's get this one. Um, oh, okay, this is a good one. Um, okay. Okay, this is Isaiah chapter 14, verse 4. Uh, that thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon and say, How hath the oppressor ceased? The golden city ceased. That's right. Damn, homie. In high school, you used to be the man, homie. What the fuck happened to you? That's how people are going to be looking at you when you fall, man. <laughs> right? Hey, man, you were once the shit. You were the hammer of the whole earth. How come you're not the hammer anymore? What's up? What's up, my nigga? Verse 5. Yahweh hath broken the staff of the wicked and the scepter of the rulers. That means power. He's taken away their power. All right, their rulership. Verse 6. He who smote the people in wrath with a continual stroke, he that ruled the nation in anger is persecuted and none hindered. Yeah, you just, just, just angry, man. You rule the people in anger, man. You're killing people for no reason just because you're mad. Right? Uh, pressing people, taking away their lands, taking away their money, taking away their resources. Wicked, man. Well, let me just check something here again. Okay, Salakia, you know, sorry for the interruptions, man. People are messaging me. Uh, but yeah, um, yeah, man, he just, uh, he just, just a damn demon, man, a tyrant, just, just oppressing people, just smoking people, just because he's mad, bro. People didn't even provoke him; he's just being a dick. You know, that's you, Edomites, man. You go into these other, uh, these other nations' uh, lands, and you just, you just act all arrogant, you act all proud, you just don't like the way they do things. Even though, even though they're set in their own ways, and you just you just oppress them for that, man. <laughs> right? He that ruled the nations in anger is persecuted, and none hindereth. The whole earth is at rest and is quiet. They break forth into singing. Yeah, everybody's gonna be happy when you go down. Everybody's gonna be happy. Now we don't gotta get up. We don't gotta. Go, we don't gotta work. We don't gotta pay taxes to your dumb ass. Eat your polluted food. Your defiled, polluted food. Drink your dirty water. Breathe your filthy, toxic air. All right. See you on the on all these billboards and posters, making yourself look like some benevolent, nice guy. Yeah, we're gonna be happy when your ass goes down. Everybody is. Yea, the fir trees rejoice at thee, and the cedars of Lebanon saying, Since thou art laid down, no feller has come up against us. Even the goddamn trees are going to be happy, man, because trees and plants, they have a spirit. Even the trees are being oppressed because they're being hewed down all the time. Even the trees are going to rejoice. Ain't that some shit? When this devil goes down. That's sad, man. And that shows you the world is, is in a very poor state due to this devil ruling because the earth is alive man it has a spirit right it has a spirit it's alive polluting the earth polluting the seas cutting down trees man man all, man man once you go down the whole world is going to be at rest And a part of this, man, is because you guys, you, you don't keep a land Sabbath, man. You just keep cutting down, cutting down, cutting down, cutting down. Man, look at all you rich people, man, that, that, that live in these mansions, man. Especially you elites. You know, these big plots of land. You know how much resources you, you have to use up just to make a mansion? You know, that, that pollutes the earth. All that wood, all that cement... Right? It's all pollution just to build that mansion. Loftiness. Verse 9. How from beneath is moved for thee to meet thee at thy coming. It stirreth up the dead for thee. 
even all the chief ones of the earth it has raised up their thrones all the kings of the nations yeah uh, you know uh, uh, stirreth up the dead is going into the feeble nations you know the ones you used to look down on right you <laughs> used to look down on now they're looking at you funny man because now now they have nuclear capabilities you know countries like uh, North Korea Pakistan even China man because at one point everybody looked down on China China was just known for making cheap cheap stuff cheap goods everything made in China it's all cheap now now they're big guys man now they're strong now they have the MOAB mother of all bombs they have ICBM missiles they have hypersonic missiles right even all the chief ones of the earth that has raised up from their thrones all the kings of the nations and they shall speak and say unto thee art thou also become weak as we that's right man you know you're weak as us now we're stronger than you you know why because we got the bomb nuclear capabilities you know them nuclear we weapons it evened out the playing field in terms of warfare nuclear destruction Art thou become like unto us? Yeah, you become weak? What's up? Used to be the tough guy. Now you're not tough anymore. Thy pomp is brought down to the grave, and the noise of the vials, the worm is spread under thee, and the worms cover thee. And that's another sign that America's fallen too, man. Their infrastructure is terrible. Man, picture a worm eating something from the inside out. You know, like when you pick an apple off the apple tree and you cut the apple open or you bite into it, sometimes you see a worm in it. You know, the apple looks nice and red and beautiful on the outside, but it's really decaying from the inside because of the worm. That's America, man. On the outside, you look okay. But when you get into America, when you go into these cities, you go into these different neighborhoods, all the roads are broken down. They're dilapidated. It's shit. Look at all their major bridge bridges. The infrastructure at is 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 at a D rating. It's no, it's no longer an A plus rating. It's a D rating. They haven't fixed those things since the seventies. Like, come on, man. They're terrible. Even look at the gardener over here in Toronto. It's shit. Yeah, that was made in the seventies, man. They're always doing little patch jobs. That thing's about to fall apart, man. Ridiculous, man. All these damn potholes, man. You know, uh, about three weeks ago. Three weeks ago, um, I was driving my car into a gas station, and when I was about to enter, and there was this huge pothole, it was dark, I couldn't see it, blew my fucking tire out. Blew my fucking tire out. I was so fucking mad, man. And, and you, know, you know, they're always doing construction. Always. Always fixing roads, but nothing's fucking ever fixed. You know, and the reason why you see these construction workers out there Pretending to fix shit is because they got to use up the budget. That's all they're doing. But they ain't fixing shit. And like I said, that's capitalism, man. That's fucking capitalism. That's what capitalism does. It makes you waste money and it makes you waste time. And it destroys the little guy. That's what it does. But who cares about, about that, man? This place is, this place is just shit. So, anyways, verse 12. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which didst weaken the nations? Yeah, Lucifer, son of the morning. That's going into the Illuminati, the light bearers. Pretty much the elites, the ones who are behind the scenes. How art thou cut down to the ground, which didst weaken the nations? Yeah, you did weaken the nations, man. Through economics, through the banking system. The Brentwood system, setting America up and making them have uh, the, the position of having the, the world reserve currency, putting America and dollar on high. That put a lot of countries in debt, bringing forth the American, also that caused, the, caused to bring forth the Americanization of the world with the different philosophies, right? Yeah, man, they did weaken the other nations. 
For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven, I will exalt my throne above the stars of the Most High. Which you have, man, going into the book of Obadiah. You put up your space stations. Put yourself on high. You're nesting uh, in the stars. And that's that, and you know that that to you, to you, to you, to you, or what you did, I mean, sorry, what you did has 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 put you. Uh, how should I say this, man? It has it has made you look like a god among the earth. Right? It has made you look like a god because you you were able to do those those great things setting up a space station space program it makes you look godlike now it says i will sit also upon the mountain of the congregation in the sides of the north i will send above the heights of the clouds i will be like the most high <laughs> that's right so you you want to be like the most high you want to be like the most high we're seeing that with your technology you know, your technology gives you a God complex. Now you're pompous. Which merging man and machine, that isn't gonna that isn't gonna do too well. Bring forth this AI technology, that's gonna be to your demise. That's really a demon, man. Right? Downloading your mind into a USB. Anyways. Uh, so it says, yet thou shalt be brought down to hell to the sides of the pit. And that hell is going into that condition, man. Being brought very low. Making you miserable. They that see thee shall merely look upon thee and consider thee, saying, Is this the man that made the earth to tremble? That did shake kingdoms? Yeah. One that rules Babylon the Great, man. America. Right? is a group of people it's not just the president it's people behind the president and by the way he's a front man the front man is falling so the front man he represents the elite so if he's falling that means these guys are losing power behind the scenes it ain't looking too good for you guys man is this the man that made the earth to tremble that did shake kingdoms that's right because he's a kingdom crusher murdered Gaddafi, murdered all these other uh, leaders and politicians, he murdered generals. He murdered, like, yeah, about two years ago, he murdered that uh, Iranian general, man. <laughs> right? He blew him up. He blew him the fuck up. He blew, they, oh, they, they bombed that one place and killed all those people just for one guy, man. <laughs> Forgot the guy's name, it's, it's Salami or whatever. But yeah, man. Yeah, man, he made the world to tremble and shake kingdoms. That made the world as a wilderness. Yeah, man, you know, you blew up uh, different places and you made it desolate. You got places like Chernobyl, radioactive places, man. And destroyed the cities thereof that opened not the house of the prisoners. All the kings of the nation, even all of them lie in glory, everyone in his own house. Yeah, man. So, anyways, that's all I really want. You know, America is gonna go down. Um, and what you see here is just a small microcosm of what is going to take place in the future. So, with that, just want to give all praises, glory, and honor due unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakhahakodash, and double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS. To you, I say shalom, shalom to the whole elect.